Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview today in Bangkok with the Thai Prime Minister Yangluk Chinawat. Prime Minister, hello. Hello. And thank you very much for having us here at Government House. So you are quite new into politics. You have been in power for one year now. Were you expecting this first year to be so difficult? Yeah, I think nobody expects for the future. Since uh, I first uh, first day on uh, when I took over the office, all the flooding already happened in Thailand. So this is the first difficulty time that we face in the uh, in the beginning of uh, my government. But did you have sometimes some regrets to have uh, to left the business community? You were you had a career in the in the business, and you are a newcomer in politics. Did you have regret? No, because uh, since uh, I think I, uh, I has been uh, announced since on the first day that I um, uh, decide to join the politics that uh, the decide is from myself, uh, want to devote myself to serve the country. So since from now on one year past, I think I feel proud on this position. What achievement are you the, the most proud of? A new government. We increase the uh, minimum of the weight to accelerate um, and make sure that all the people who have a low income or the labor incentive can have more, more, uh, more, more money to earn and back to the increase of the consumption of the, uh, the domestic. But on this particular case of the increase of the minimum wage, don't you think that it was a bit brutal and you scared, you worried the business community, the many uh, investors in Thailand who just said, wow, we have to pay a lot now for... If you, you saw the background of the, the number of the minimum wage in the past, it has been uh, ne never increased the, the minimum wage for several years. We believe that we can enhance on the multi-skill multi level. Uh, government, uh, government will give them the opportunity to train more on the uh, multi-skill and also some of the high, high level skill. So uh, will be another plan to development to make sure that uh, in terms of the people who pay the, uh, the charge or pay the minimum wage can be satisfied with the output of uh, the labor uh, incentive. But still, uh, if you compare with your neighbor countries in ASEAN, uh, let's talk about, for instance, Malaysia, even communist Vietnam are doing better economically than Thailand. How do you explain that? Thailand in, is in the going stage. But when, when, like the same of the company, if the company going every, every year, I think you, you can see back of the history of uh, GDP growth of Thailand, we increase more than like 2 3% every year. So it will be difficult if you see on the, the high percent of the growth. But in terms of Malaysia, it will be the, the good of the golden time of the going. So that's why I cannot uh, directly compare of that performance. But you, you're talking, uh, it's interesting because you mentioned yeah. it's like a company and Taksin right. Shinawat, your brother, said he wanted to govern Thailand a long time ago as a CEO. So what is the difference in the, in the, gov the way of governing between you and Taksin Shinawat? On the system thinking, we are the same, but in terms of implementing and all the decision making, it depends on the uh, environment and the context that we have to, uh, to work. So I think it uh, cannot comparable and maybe one year is might too early. I know you don't like too much to talk again and again about your brother because he's so famous in Thailand. We have to talk about him a bit. Okay. Um, you have been elected yes. under his name uh, one year ago. Does he have a role in your government? Does he do something? Uh, sorry, you, uh, what did you say again? I been elected by under whose name? Uh, on the taxi in China, what? Your, 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 your brother? Well, it was the, the legacy of what he did. He's a, he's, a, he's a hero in the north, so you were elected uh, with his electoral platform. Thai people might uh, respect or like uh, my brother because his uh, policy has been success in the past. This is one thing. That's why you, you say that people choose because of him. No, people choose because of his policy has been success. And in terms of the, our party, our party will continue any policy that benefit to the country. We will continue. So that's why we don't have any the limitation that who is uh, launching the policy as long as we bring the best fit to Thai people. But is it very difficult to escape from his shadow? because he's still very, very much 
present in Thailand, very much polarizing the society. People are talking about him every day. Is it for you a burden? Is it difficult to be sister and in power? No, I think I, 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 we, we won't avoid the fact. Because if you say, I say no, it's impossible because I'm, uh, we are fa same family. But the time will, will prove by myself if I, I talk to you that uh, I'm be myself. So I think the time will be, will see. And if I depend on him, so I cannot be uh, any decision making to handle. The promise is my last question about taxing. Okay. What is your, your answer about the, you know, the rumors saying that even your cabinet ministers are taking orders from him? that is controlling, that you are a puppet. Uh, it's time to answer all these. What is your answer to that? Uh, same, same answer that uh, we, we have the management team, we have the cabinet to make adjustment and every decision made by in Thailand, not in overseas at all. Yeah. It will be back in Thailand one day, you think? I don't know, I can't tell. I can't tell. Let's talk about the military. Thailand is very important, and uh, the country experienced uh, 16 military coups in the, three, the last three decades. And they are in the north and northeast, many people believing that there is a coup ahead. Do you think a military coup is still an option in Thailand uh, today or the next days or month? The coup doesn't help uh, the country to move forward. And um, from our government policy, we try to work as the national reconciliation and try to make sure that we have the peaceful in the country. So I, I, I believe that uh, we, when we, uh, with the policy, so it doesn't uh, increase or invite uh, or the condition of the coup happen. So you have good relationship with the military, is what you, you're saying? No, I, I don't say the relation, but I think because of the policy, we encourage people to have the reconciliation and the peaceful, but sometimes you might see the conflict. But at least the government, not, uh, we have to try to make sure that the environment in the country with the peaceful way, in the peaceful way, and with the democratic way. Many human rights groups um, are very concerned of the increase of uh, the use of the, the crime of Les Majesty in Thailand. Uh, many people are in jail or, 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 or charged for Les Majesty. Will you be the Prime Minister who will amend this law? Uh, the problem is not the law, because the law has been used for many years. So I think the, 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 thing is have, uh, the thing is because of the misuse of the law. So I think we have to make sure that uh, people won't use this law in terms of the politics way. China, does the, oh. the growing influence of China in Southeast Asia, does it worry you? I think the, uh, when, when China has been growing, so will we Im impact back to ASEAN. So as long as we work really closely and we can, can turn this to be the opportunities to ASEAN country and especially in Thailand in terms of like, uh, the cooperation in the trading and the investment. So I think will be the, posit uh, uh, the good thing. So I can do a follow up about Burma, your big neighbor. After five decades of dictature, now it's seems to open. Yeah. Thailand and yourself were the first to invite Aung San Suu Kyi, the pro-democracy leader of Burma. Uh, the first trip abroad in 20 years was in Thailand. She was warmly wel welcomed by you, by your government, by your country. Uh, it seemed that uh, it didn't please the government of uh, the Burmese government that much. They canceled two trips. Do you think you made a mistake by being too nice with Aung San Suu Kyi? I think, uh, can I collect you again? Whoever come to my country, we have to welcome as in the proper of the uh, uh, diplomatic way. And uh, for the Myanmar, I think we, we confirm that we still have very good relationship with Myanmar. Precisely talking about Burmese and, and Burma, you have uh, around 3 million migrant workers in, in Thailand. 80% of them are, are, are Burmese. Why Thailand needs so much, so many foreign labor, migrant workers? Because we, we grow up the industry a lot, and I think that's why we, we need the, uh, the, uh, the worker to, to help. And I think in, in the next uh, few years of the uh, ASEAN become S1, so the labor can be uh, moved forward in ASEAN. So this is the, the normal, yeah. But do you worry that with the, the opening of, of your neighbor, Burma, some of these uh, migrant workers will come back home and there will be a problem here 
uh, for, for finding some workers for your industries? Well, I think we, we also have to make sure that uh, we, we, we grow of, uh, in terms of the worker on the multi-skill level. And I think uh, in the future of the technology or the industry have to have the machine to help them to increase the efficiency anyway. Thailand is an export-oriented uh, country. How do you deal with the, the Eurozone crisis? We need to un keep like keep the status and follow up with this but not be like just really shock and do, uh, just freeze ourselves and not invest so I think the, uh, we, we also set the team to follow up and make sure that we understand the problem but uh, from the meeting of the euro summit so I think uh, quite uh, quite uh, help uh, all the, the situation is released and make sure that every country will serve uh, handle and uh, handle and solve the problem with uh, other country you will soon meet the new French president, François Hollande, uh, during this official trip in France. Uh, what will be the agenda of this trip? We would like to work together closely uh, in terms of both sides that our Thai people invest in France and France uh, invest in Thailand. Thai, uh, Thai people are flying to Paris for the fashion. Even me, I am also enjoy that. And also we will invite uh, your people to, to be here. So I think this is the purpose of, uh, of uh, the, the meeting today, the, uh, this trip. Prime Minister, thank you very much. This is the end of the France 24 interview today in Bangkok. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.